What is good friends, we are back with uh, Zambrock, he got subbed in and he's playing all cons. Pretty sure both teams are already in the next round, so this game is just for fun, but why not record it? I think this is the team that didn't Benge use this versus Alcans? I think it's Specs Gengar. Like Benge had a Mega Mall instead of Heracross, but other than that, it looks exactly like that team. I like this team a lot. I think the Rotom has the berry that heals you 50%. Specs Gengar switch in um, Assault Vest. Tangros can switch into Shadow Ball, but it cannot really switch into ta um, in the Sludge Wave well. If he's Spadef Setter Steeler, I can see him going to that. So he does have a Mega Pinsir balance ish team, which looks pretty cool. Probably with Z Move Landris or Z Move Keldeo, but I think it's going to be Scarf Keldeo. Z Move Landris, Default Mew with Will O Wisp and Volt Switch or Ice Beam. No, I think he doesn't need Ice Beam when he has a Tangros to check Zygar too. Toxapex looks a bit annoying, so he might be psychic, yeah. His main way of killing Pex is Landris. Pinsa can also kill Pex, but they both can get Skull Burned, so there's dead. Hard into Keldeo, takes 76, good lord, and Keldeo cannot Oko the Gengar with any move, but the thing is he might just go into Rotom, because Gengar is so scary that he wants to keep it healthy potentially, right? I don't know if this is Alcan's second or third game. I think he won versus Cicada the other day, if I recall correctly. But I don't know if he played another game. He went into Tangros. What did he predict? Uh, Alcan's can go on the Herald Cross here, so. I think there's a Z movement Journal. So it won't have volts, which so Zambo can double here, predicting the Heracross. I, I double into Pinsir here. It's a bit risky, it's a bit risky. Mm. Maybe he go into Celestila, but what if he stays in? He has like... Bolt Beam coverage. And I think Celestila is okay here. Even though I would kind of like the, to make the Pinsir play, but it's risky. Yeah, he does have volts, which is okay, so going Pinsir was not the play. Going Celestila also was not the play. So he's just gonna go for, um, I'm not sure, he doesn't really have a move that touches the Herald Cross. If he has hidden power fire, he can go for that, but I think he will just be HPIs. Probably just go for Earthquake because Magina is a threat that you don't play around with. Yeah, he's probably just went for Earthquake. I mean, I haven't caught the Shadow Ball damage. There's a Fin Power Ice. I haven't caught the Shadow Ball with specs from the Gengar. If they like have a turn where they think long, I will caught that. He SDs up. CC is gonna blow this out the window. Unless he's fast and he has like Air Slash. If he's fast, Air Slash this is gonna be wild. I mean, if he's specs Gar, like I said, I have to run the Kalk and AV Majorna. I guess he has to be Z Move Landris. Because I don't think he can be Z Move Ladi. I think he has to be Scarf Ladi on this team. Otherwise, this team is too slow. I don't think Zamrock has Air Slash unless he wants to, like. Unless he takes his time on purpose to bluff that he doesn't have it and then go for it. Pretty sure that's just a standard bulky Cell Steeler with Heavy Slam Leech to protect Flame Sorrow. Like I see Zamrock's Z-move user being Landers, like I said earlier. Goes in the Lando on the CC, takes 5 million, so this might be Sky Strike Lando. Continental Crush might also kill if it's adamant after the um, defense drop from the close combat. He goes for Gravity. Maybe predicting the Rotom Wash. Because Earthquake doesn't do that much to the opposing Landers with the Intimidate. I mean, still is a good chunk, but...
Alcons might just go for rocks here, or he might also just attack. And I think Zamrock might go into his Saddle Stealer here. Depending on if he's Jolly or Adamant. At first I thought they might, they're both Adamant. Because it helps with the stall matchup. Especially Zamrock's team looks a bit weak to stall. So you won't want the power of Adamant Landris. His gravity is pretty nice versus stall so you can like off quick Skarmory. And it doesn't go away because Smackdown, um, you have to smack them down and hit them with the move so you can off quick them. But the gravity basically is like... They always stay on the ground for, f for the few turns their gravity is up. That's what I'm trying to say here. He has hidden power, ice, gravity, landers. Okay, that's I did not see that one coming. Okay, Alcon's is lefty, so he's not Z-move. So I'm not sure which is a Z-move user. Does he not have one? He showed Volt Switch on Megina, so maybe he has... Does he have Z-move? Um, I want to calculate the damage that Gengar did to Keldy just to see if that is... Because um, if that's not Specs damage, he might be Z-move Gengar. He did 76 if I recall correctly. Yeah, yeah, that's Specs damage for sure. So he either doesn't have a Z-move user or it's like something that I don't expect, like Z-move Rotom or Z-move Volt Switch Megina. But I think the Latios has to be Scarfed because this team is just way too slow otherwise, like I said. I mean, he could be Volt Switch Trick Room again now with Z-Move, but I don't really think that's a threat. Trick Room would support the Heracross on that team, but I, I still don't think he's that threat. I can see Zamrock going for Earthquake, he just goes for HP Ice. Yeah, I don't think Alcans could switch into anything because the gravity was up, so it's not like he could switch into Rotom there. Yeah, I HP Ice was a fine play, I think. Uh, Gengar's gonna pick someone up now, like... I don't know if Tangros gets to it killed after rocks, let me call it real quick. AV Tangros does get to it killed by Shadow Ball. Yeah, it takes like... Nah, it doesn't get to it killed after rocks. It will always survive to Shadow Balls. Um, he might also go Celesteela if he's Spadaf, but he goes... Tangros on the Shadow Ball, yep, eats it up. I mean, barely. You can barely live another one. That was a pretty high roll, they did 42. So, this Tangros is not mixed, but he probably has some fist death. The door is playing in 5 minutes versus. Versus PTC, right? Oof, that's hype. Oblivion is also playing in like 20 minutes. Double thought, goes in the Heracross. So he, got, he did go in a Mew, maybe expecting... Um, I don't know if he expected the Megina or the Heracross. I'm not really sure what he really predicted there, but if he's a fast Mew, he can obviously just go for will o -Wisp here. I'm pretty sure he's a faster Mew. Oh my god, he's, is he Jolly Heracross? He just blew the Mew away. I thought the Mew would be faster for sure. And he just said nope. Maybe the Mew just didn't have enough speed, uh, but I, I think that was Jolly Heracross, yeah. I could find out if I caught the close combat damage versus Lando. I guess I might do that. Because he had like a plus two Heracross Mega, right? And Lando's had an Intimidate off on it, so... I think he was offensive. Was Zamrock offensive Lando? He was, right, because he had gravity. See, see did how much? Did 69. Yeah, so if he's jolly. If he's jolly and the landers was offensive. He had the 65 to 77, so I think it was jolly, but not 100% sure. He goes under the pincer. And he's gonna go Rotom here. Goes for SD. He did, I don't think he showed Mold Breaker, because if he had Mold Breaker, he could off quick the Rotom. He goes for return in regular form, and he has T-Wave. <laughs> you can go for Pain Split or Hydro Pump, or... Mm. I don't think you run Lois and, and T-Wave on the same set, you run either or moves. Like, you don't run both, basically. Um, 
<laughs> Not more breaker in QS. <laughs> yeah, I've used more breaker the other day on the ladder. And JP posted a team with more breaker pincer. And I killed a Rotom Heat on the ladder, that was fun. Mm. I'm pretty sure Zamrock. Dude, if he vote switches into Gengar, I was about to say, like, Zamrock might stay regular form and click return again. If he vote switches into Gengar, that's a bit scary. Because then the return doesn't affect the Gengar. What does Rotom even heal on though? Like, get his berry. I guess it comes in and kills your skull, then it comes in on Hydro Pump and gets his berry. Also, if Zemro gets up hazards, I think he will get put into 25% range so it berry, its berry will activate. Can you guys play? I would appreciate if they would play a bit faster. So, did he vote switch into Gengar, predict in return again? Goes for earthquake predicting the gang at his guys on the next level. On another level. <laughs> Into Megina he goes, there's the para. So I assume he's gonna click floor cannon here. Oh my god, that Oko's. I, comp I like I sometimes forget about the Pearl nerf making pins like make faster mons be able to outspeed like slow mons. How slow is Majorna by the way? No, not the tim not the timid set. How slow is the salt vest Majorna? One hundred and sixty six. One hundred sixty six times two is. Quick attack does not pick off the roll. There's the berry that I was talking about. He's gonna vault out. Pick off the pincer. I guess he goes in the Gengar or Heracross here. Heracross seems like a fine play. Wait, 162 times 2 is. Um, is it 322 or is my math just off? I think it's 322. So yeah, Pins is always faster than Paralyzed Magina. If it's max speed Pins, that Magina doesn't run speed. It's gonna go for Hydro, I assume. Yep. And Rotom's gonna Volt Switch again. Like, he doesn't lose anything by doing that. Unless he goes Hard Lando. <laughs> he goes Hard Lando. But that's fine, because he can just... He can just Hydro Pump on the next turn. Oh, he can Volt Switch predicting the Pivot into into um, Tangros. He gets up the rocks. I guess he wanted to keep the Rotom at... The percentage it was at? Okay, I'm not sure what is going on. Why did he double back into Rotom? Oh, uh, he predicted he predicted the um, the Celesteela. Yeah, now it makes sense to me. And uh, if he predicted the Celesteela, he could have um, if he got the Rotom and was Celesteela, he could have either clicked Pain Split or Will O Wisp. Um, but probably you wouldn't have clicked Pain Split because um, Zamrock has the land risk to sack. That is really low, so Pain Split doesn't help L counts. So I probably would have uh, clicked Hydro Pump if I was in with the Rotom on a Cell Stealer. But it didn't work out because he made like a good mid ground play of going Tangros, which would have been able to tank a hit from the Ladios and also um, covers the Rotom switch. So that was a really nice play from Zamrock the longer I think about it. Mm -hmm. The thing is, he can just Volt Switch into Heracross. Because Tangrits can't really touch Hera. And it's still at 70, like it's somewhat healthy. 70 after rocks. Voltage into Heracross, pretty obvious. He's just gonna hit in power. I think that does the most damage to the Heracross. 
Now he's gonna sack off his landers here, pretty obvious. He already showed SD, so he's probably three attacks. Blast move's gonna be Rock Blast, obviously. Yeah, he's gonna go kill you here, I assume. You can also go Celesteela and click Leech Seed, but. Kelly clicks Hydro Pump and gets a kill, right? Um, does Hydro Pump kill from Scarf killed? Might be a roll. Yeah, if it's the 112 HP Heracross, it kills. So, pretty sure. Yeah, I don't think you run more bulk than that. Because he always also outsped the Mew, which means he's probably jolly max speed. Like, he's he might have some bulk, but he's definitely jolly. I don't think he would have more bulk than that what I put in the Calc, so I'm pretty sure he can just go Kelly and click Hydro Pump here. Yeah. Um, how healthy is the Latios? Oh, the Latios is at full. Okay, so he can Alcans can go into Latios on the killed, but that's that's not that big of a deal because he has a um, Celesteela in the back. Mm, this Alcans. <laughs> the problem with the Celesteela is if it can't kill the Rotom Wash, Alcans can double into Rotom on the on the Celesteela later on when he's in with Latios, and then he can get a pain split up. So it's not as easy as I first saw it. Uh, the thing is, nah, that's fine. If you pain splits, you can just throw in the Kelt. But t the thing with that is, if you throw in the Kelt on this pain split, he, he also has still has the Lari to go into, and like your Kelt gets brought down low, and like you kind of want the Kelt for speed control, right? Because it's like your fastest one at this point, you need it. So this is actually not, not that easy. Like, I would also let the timer go down pretty low here. Okay, and Adorvus PDC is right after Zamrock. Um, thank you guys, that's what everyone should do. Like, you should just play after this after game is over so I can record one game in one video. I hate it when I have like four games in one video. <laughs> I did that earlier. I get a better time, so... <laughs> Who's man's? I mean, I know it's American-based, like, that's why I stay up long sometimes to record these games. Got some issues with my contact lens, man. Why am I not... Can't see everything that's going on. But yeah, he goes on a Kelio and... He only has two more rocks. Uh, he only has one more rock switch in. So this is actually... Whew, there's like so much to think about. Because if I'm Elkans, I'm saving this Heracross. I don't see what he loses from going Latios. Because even if Zamrock doubles, like I said, the Keldy only has one more switch into two rocks, so like... It's not like he can double around the entire time. And the Celesteela... Yeah, Celesteela's at full. He makes the Lottie play on the Hydro Pump, yeah. Mm -mm. The thing is he wants to Scarf on the Lottie, because if he gets lower, the Keldy might outspeed him. So is he... Though I don't think he can afford to trick here, is what I'm trying to say. He scarfed T-Wave and he misses. Oh my lord. There's a T-Wave nerf. That's the T-Wave nerf for you. Um, this is a problem for all cons now. Oh, oh. Zyron might just go for Heavy Slam. He can also click Leech Seed, but I don't see what he loses from clicking Heavy Slam. Gengar is going to get 2 hit KOs. Unless he gets the Cursed Body. Even though Gengar might also die but to the combination of Heavy Slam and Flamethrower. He just goes Rotom. And it lives at 2%, but... Now this is interesting. If he has Pain Split... If he goes to Keldy on the Pain Split to prevent it... Um, then he doesn't have any more rock switch ins and the Lari would come back and enforce the Keldy out so the Keldy would be dead so Zamrock would lose his speed control. So I don't know if he can prevent the pain split from happening, man. This is just a tough turn. Okay, and JMP said he should have leeched. But I think Heavy Slam like Leech is obviously better with Rodon, but Heavy Slam would have been nice versus like Gengar. Actually Leech would have been a fine play there as long as it hits, that's true. Maybe he didn't want to miss, not sure. Go 
goes for T-Wave. Gets the full para. I mean, Rodom doesn't have lefty, so it's not like he got lefties back from that turn. I mean, I guess you can say he has the pain split and he does not switch into Kelly because he needs... He needs the Kelly to outspeed the Ladi and the Gengar, I feel. I mean, mainly the Gengar. Oh, the Heracross too. The Heracross, yeah, the Heracross is a big one. Basically, his team is super slow. If he loses his Kelio. Oh my lord, into Kelly on the paint split and gets the lead seat. Okay, that was really nice. It was risky, but it worked out. If he Volt switched there, it would have been over. I think he's just gonna click Hydro here, even though it can miss. Oh, he clicks Scald, okay. Scald is fine, he can get the burn. I wasn't sure if Scald would kill. Goes into Ladi, doubles into Heracross, breaks into Celesteela. Yeah, he has to make plays now because this game is pretty intense and close. Do you do you hope for the para and go for SD here or do you just click CC? I think you just click um it depends if heavy slam or uh, flamethrower kills you with the defense drop. I think you just click close combat, yeah. CC has a chance to kill but probably won't kill. Uh flamethrower kills Heracross at this range. Even if he has the HP investment that the calculator Heracross has. So yeah, there's no point in going for SD, you just click close combat. It's not like he has a Gengar or something to switch in. Like Zembrook. Does not have close combat switch-ins. So he's gonna um, take the huge hit on his Celesteela here. And if he doesn't get, if he gets paralyzed, it's gonna be really annoying for him, yeah. But if he doesn't get paralyzed, he's gonna kill the Heracross. And Kel, you might be able to win the game. Um, how much does Hyper Pump do to Gengar after rocks? Because Kel, you might just win if Hyper Pump kills Gengar after rocks. Yeah, it is 86. So yeah, it it has a good chance to kill 86 to 102 percent. Like it's a. If I put rocks on his side, Hyper Pump has a, a 93 percent chance to kill the Gengar. He goes hard Tangros, Okay. So he decides to sack the Tangos instead of the Steeler because the, the Steeler vaults the, um, the Ladios better. Can also still check the, the Gengar. I mean, I can understand that play. He's gonna click uh, go Kelly and click Scald here, I think, because he doesn't want risk missing, right? The planes, the Kelly on the Pain Spit early was a fire play, dude, to get more health on the Kel. But I don't see him clicking anything other than Skull this particular turn. Because you have to hit multiple Hydro Pumps. Like, Ladi forces you out anyway, even if you go for Pump here, so there's no point in doing that. Ladi comes in afterwards and forces you out, right? <laughs> Not coasting, Ben, everyone. Yeah, that's the problem, is we can't talk about the plays. I love to smoke this chip, and you could still talk about that. They should just make it so that the players that are... The guys that are playing should not be able to access the lobby at all, and then it should... Oh, he goes for Hydro. And maybe he had to, but I was thinking... I don't think it made a difference, because Skald would have killed... 
the Heracross, Skull to it kills the Gengar anyway, and Ladi forces you out anyway, and he keeps making this double into Heracross. Lovely, lovely doubles. This is why you play Pokemon, or this is why you watch a World Cup game for double switches like this one. Second double switch into Heracross on the Celestial, and he's gonna click close combat and do heavy damage to this. Lovely plays. I gotta run after this game because I lost my contact lens, man. I mean, I have it in my hand. I gotta, like, put it in my eye again. Gotta run to the mirror. <laughs> Actually, I don't need a mirror for that. Maybe I can... Nah, that's fine. If I miss two or three turns of the next game, you guys know why. Because <laughs> I know that the Nador game is right after this one. CC does a nice 50%. Wow, that didn't do as much. Is it 5th Staff Celestealer? Yeah, they did nothing, what? Yeah, he's Fist of Celestia, okay, that makes sense. Why I did nothing? He got the defense boost, so I would have seen that he was Fist of if I just looked at this. Yeah, Latios cannot win this unless he gets some Paras here. I think he has to click Psyshock. I mean, if he, cr if he hits Draco here... If he if he clicks Draco here, he um he he has to get the para, and he gets the para, and then I don't know if the Kalyu dies. The Kalyu might actually die. It's gonna be minus four Draco. I'm, I think if he hits this one, uh, if he has protect though, the next Draco might not kill. It did twenty nine, so if it does like fifteen, yeah, this might this might be a roll. Okay, that's before we calc the damage versus Kaldio. Now, I don't think there's a point in calculating anything, and we will just watch what happens, and then I will calc afterwards. He does get the potential roll. And how much does Kaldio take from... Minus 4 Draco? Now, we will just watch what happens. Like, there's not, not much to think about. Just click Secret Sword here if you're Zamrock. He said, don't crit me, okay, so he knows that he lives it, okay. I mean, I would think that he lives it, because it's minus four. I will rape a bee. <laughs> oh my god, he crit! Holy shit. He's gonna put some dots in this mark, this chat is going wild. <laughs> poor poor bee. <laughs> you said it. You spoke it into existence, as Pokemon would say. So thank you guys for watching, I gotta pause real quick, put my contact lens back and then be right back with the next game that will be another upload. So stay tuned for that, goodbye!